Well, the federal government has concluded plans to train some newly recruited personnel of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps in 36 states and the federal capital territory as the School Safety Protection Squad to halt cases of abductions of school children from their schools. The commander of the National Safe Schools Response Coordinating, uh, Coordinating Center of the NSCDC, Ahmed Abodring, disclosed this in an interview on Sunday. Just as the defense headquarters said troops rescued 137 abducted pupils of the LEA Primary School and the government secondary school in Kuriga in the Chukun local government area of Kaduna State within Zamfara State. Well, the president of the National Association of Nigerian Students, Lucky Monefe, well, he joins me now to discuss the release of the 137 Kaduna pupils, the federal government's proposal to set up a safety corps for schools, and how it could all impact learning. I'd like to say thank you for joining us this afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, and good afternoon, yes. So first of all, what do you make of the rescue and the presentation of the 137 uh, students uh, that were taken, unfortunately, but uh, fortunately now safely returned? Yeah, as uh, a president of Nigeria students, the students at the Conway community are happy for the release of those students and they are back to their families, reconciled back to their family, and uh, we are happy with that because the lives of students and their security matters to us. We equally see the efforts of Mr. President, his marching order given to the Minister of Defense, and uh, we can see the defense headquarters, their commitment to ensure that, yes, the students are yes, secured and released back to their families. Even the government of Kaduna State, their effort is highly commended. The governor has put in all his best to ensure that, yes, those students are reconciled back because the security of our schools, like what we told Mr. President, is very important to us. And uh, we want the Nigeria government to be committed to ensure that safety of students is very important and crucial. As for us, as NANS, anything possible to ensure that the lives of our students are protected will always be committed towards that. So we are happy that the students are back and uh, they are reconciled back to their family. And we pray that uh, subsequently this ugly incident will not occur in our campuses, in our schools to ensure that the lives of our students are protected. Thank you for that. Um, and what do you make of this uh, implementation of the School Safety Protection Squad? And I'm wondering if you were aware that back in uh, 2023, actually July of last year, our acting inspector general at the time, uh, Olukayo de Egbeto Kung, he came out and announced that there would be the establishment of this same school protection squad um, in the north. Um, it was to launch in August of last year. Um, it seems that the launch did not happen. I'm not sure what happened there. But in between now and uh, last August, there have been multiple abductions of students. Does it concern you that they continue to make these promises of uh, instituting a board, yet it doesn't seem that it has countered any of these kidnappers' motives or their actions on school grounds, especially within the North? Okay, uh, thank you very much. The safety, like I said, of students are very important to us. And uh, any initiative ideas that we curb the reoccurrence and the uh, adoption of uh, reoccurrence and the adoption of students we always support it. So we urge government authorities to kickstart that. And we, on our part as students, leaders, uh, we are coming up with a policy and a strategy, although it is a security strategy. Uh, we are partnering with the Ministry of Defense. And uh, we know the Defense Minister is up to that. And the Defense Headquarters particularly, to ensure that 
all this reoccurring, reoccurring adoption of our students is put to an end. We are not going to discuss the strategies, but NANS as a body is having a partnership with the defense headquarters and the other relevant security agency to curb all this insecurity in our campuses and in our schools because these uh, adopters, they have strategized going to the vulnerable society, which are the students, to capture them. And uh, we are not pleased with that. So any ideas, any suggestions, like the Safe School Project, of course, is a commendable one. And we know Mr. President's commitment, and we urge them to always continue. Like this Kaduna issue, you can see within the period of two weeks, the defense headquarters, we are committed to ensure that, yes, the students are back. So we as student leaders, we are very concerned. It is giving us a sign of worry that our school must be safe, must be secured, and must be protected. So we are working towards that, and soonest, the Nigeria community, the school community will be aware of this strategy we are putting in place in partnership with the defense headquarters, particularly to ensure the safety of our students. So it's a commendable one, and we're ready to work with relevant security agency to ensure this. And not to, uh, not to negate the hard work of our security forces and those who uh, made sure that the girls were rescued, but my point was continual promises about the establishment of some sort of force to protect these children have been spoken about. Insurances have been given, assurances have been given, uh, you know, marching orders have been given, but we see the same thing. And people say to do the same thing and expect a different result. That is an exercise in insanity. Is there something that the National Association of Nigerian Students could do in order to maybe put more pressure on uh, the federal government, hold their feet to the fire, to make sure that they stick to forming this squad in a, a short and uh, a very, very short and uh, a appropriate amount of time. That's my first question. The second is, what can be done amongst the students in order to uh, guarantee their own safety? Not saying that students should uh, take arms or anything or start training commando style, but are there any discussions as to what can be done within the uh, education system and what this, the teachers or the students themselves can do to better protect themselves in the unfortunate uh, incident that something like this occurs again and the security forces may not be on ground. Are those discussions being had? Okay, like uh, the first question you asked is of concern with us. I know over time there are promises like what you said and uh, they are not being kept. It is on that note that the leadership of NANS took this challenge and we met with the Commander-in-Chief, which is Mr. President himself, and we tabled this challenge, the securities, the hard things that students are passing through, and uh, he has given us his promises, and uh, we believe and we have confidence that, yes, things will turn around. On our part, as student leaders, like what I said, uh, over the time, the student leaders have not been engaged. But this time around, I told you there is a policy and there are strategies that the leadership of NANS is partnering with defense headquarters and other security agencies to ensure that, yes, of course, the security of our students is key and is actually secured. So we are coming up with this summit and strategy to ensure that, yes, in each of these campuses, report of happenings within the campuses, and these are hostess are given to relevant security agencies to ensure that, of course, any information through the seminar, through the strategy, we will be availing the plans in all our tertiary institutions in our campuses to ensure that, yes, lives and property of the students are protected. And again, too, we are hopeful that things will turn around this time around. You know, security issue is everyone's job. Your environment, where you stay, if you see suspected people, people that are suspicious movement, you report to relevant agents. So we are not leaving it alone 
for security agency and we are going to partner with them to ensure that you know NANS have structures in different campuses in in the union in the state in the zonal level of course to ensure that our schools are secure we are partnering with them hence we are coming up with these strategies this policy and this summit we are coming up with and we are very hopeful that yes of course things will turn around in the nearest uh, uh, shortest time and can you speak on the amount of trauma that these students might uh, possibly face uh, after this and the effects that it might have within our Nigerian ecosystem? I mean, now we have a generation of children that uh, get snatched from schools, get returned. It seems like they will be associating schools with being unsafe or being a, a stressful time uh, in their lives. And that isn't very good for the learning aspect of a child's brain. How do you think that this might affect the future leaders of this country and the level of education that uh, we are touting uh, for our future generation? Yeah, it's really traumatizing and uh, it's affecting learning learning in the school environment, it's affecting the psychological performance and the academic performance of students on campuses. And as for parents, they are traumatized, they are not happy, of course, it affects learning. We are really affected with this insecurity in our campuses and it calls for worry. And that's why we're going on with sensitization to ensure that yes, these things come to an end. Uh, students who have to be security conscious within themselves, of course. We've taken it as a responsibility to ensure that, of course, we we'll keep speaking that our school needs to be secured. And we're calling on the security to put more efforts to ensure that, yes, since the target is on campuses and schools now, of course, there is need to shift now to all these campuses and the schools to be secured. And we, of course, we're doing our own sensitization too to ensure that we get this consciousness within our students on the security tips to know about our environment, our hostels, and our schools. Of course, it's a cause of worry to us. We are worried. It's affecting learning. In our, and you know, students and the school environment, they are the future of this country. Of course, they should be given needed priority. They should be given, given needed priority to ensure that, of course, proper attention is given to them. They need to learn properly in a good environment. And they need to be secured. And they don't need to be worried while schooling. So we are calling on relevant agencies to please put more attention to the security of students on campus. And what do you make of the fact that the details of the rescue of these students has been, for the most part, kept a, a large mystery? Understandably so. The uh, state secrets of, of um, combat uh, cannot be revealed to ordinary civilians, albeit on a national television station. But nothing has, uh, no details have come out about how these students were taken back, even though we do know that the president himself said there would be no payments to, uh, of ransom to kidnappers. Um, and we don't have any names of the abductors. We have no faces. We have no real credible evidence to show that maybe any of them were rounded up or that they are being uh, stopped from committing future crimes. What do you make of the fact that not a lot is known about the kidnappers, but a lot of emphasis is put on these students as they return? Okay, I may not be privy to all these securities details, the, the security agency will handle that. But my primary concern is the return of the students back to their families. I think I was in Kaduna yesterday too, and uh, we, we met with the Ministry of Education too, and uh, we were told that the students have been reconciled back to their families. The numbers were complete, and we are happy for that. The other details, how they were captured, this, the security agency, they have those information. I can't speak for them. My own is primarily concerned about the rescue. And there shouldn't be subsequent re reoccurrence of those events again. I think that is my area. And I think that's, I'll be restricted to speak on the area of the students, their welfare, and they are back now. And the joy is with us. And we commend those 
who puts necessary efforts in place to ensure that those students are back to their family, the governor, the security agency, and the defense headquarters, and most especially Mr. President. Like what Mr. President said, that uh, they shouldn't be encouraged of this uh, giving money or a penny should be paid to anybody. Of course, it's a good one. And if these things is really encouraged, I think the kidnappers on their own too, they will be discouraged in involving in all these uh, crimes because the purpose of it is to ensure that they get something out of it. But when they discourage them by not giving them any ransom, of course, I don't think they will involve in such again. So the art of giving them ransom, we think is not really too encouraging. Well, fair enough on that. Uh, we hope that the rehabilitation of these students uh, go well and that they are able to re-enter the society and their school system without too much trauma. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, uh, lucky, uh, thank you so much for joining me today.